Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Rob Midget, and uh, back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Growl, and whether it's viable, or even if it's actually meta in multiplayer. Everyone knows that the Growl is an absolute monster in Warzone, with its absolutely incredible damage range, low recoil, and good enough damage profile to be competitive. It is an absolute monster in Warzone, but just how good is it in multiplayer? The Growl has always kind of been a question mark in multiplayer, because a lot of people like to, you know, go with the M4 or a couple of the other ARs, like Kilo. The M4 and the Kilo are not only dominant in multiplayer, they're also dominant in Warzone, but like I said earlier with the Growl, it's mostly known for its damage range and recoil control, which is something you don't really need that much of in multiplayer, and that raises the question to a lot of people whether it's actually worth using in a mode like Search and Destroy, or just have fun with. As you can tell, the Growl is one of my favorite weapons in the game as I have an Obsidian. I use it all the time, it's one of my favorite weapons to use in multiplayer and in Warzone. But, is it really that good, and is it competitive? In my opinion, I believe yes. Yes, it is very competitive. Especially if you were getting into a medium to long range fight, which sure aren't, you know, the most common things in multiplayer, you're going to win 9 times out of 10 if you hit your shots. The Growl has super clean iron sight with the Archangel Barrel on it. And it has absolutely incredible damage range and a great recoil control. And it is so nice and easy to use, and I really, really love it. Another question that a lot of people have about the Growl is everyone knows that its damage range and recoil control are out of this world incredible. But, just how fast is the time to kill, and is it competitive enough to match up with other ARs with the M4, the Kilo, or any of the SMGs up close? The answer is sort of. It's time to kill is on the lower end for ARs, and it doesn't even get close to matching any of the SMGs time to kill up close. But if you're hitting your shots, especially if you're hitting your head shots, it is more than usable. If you want an actual statistical time to kill and how fast it is, I'm going to be putting up a couple clips from the exclusive Ace video that he made about the Growl, which he calls it his Gun Guide series, which is a series about going into more detail about the guns. I will link the descriptions. I will link his channel in the description, as well as a link to the Gun Guide video about the Growl if you want to learn more about it, other than my just kind of touching the surface video. The base damage profile of the Growl is 28 damage, 23 damage, and 18 damage. It is quite competitive in the AR category as most 5.56 assault rifles have the same shots to kill. Its headshot multiplayer is 1.49, giving it a 42, 35, 27, which means you need at least two headshots up close to be getting a three shot kill. Its rate of fire is right around 750 rounds per minute, which is pretty similar to the Kilo and most of the other 5.56 rifles. This makes its time to kill around 240 milliseconds, 320 milliseconds, and 400 milliseconds, which is slower than every single SMG in the game, but is around the lower end of the assault rifle category. And here we have the damage range for the Growl, which is clearly the best part of this gun, is its absolutely incredible damage range. And right here you can see that its first range extends all throughout the 34 meters, which is incredible and the best out of all the ARs and its second damage range extends to around 60 meters. That is absolutely incredible for any AR. Just in case you don't want to believe me, here's the growl and no attachments on the recoil pattern. As you can see, I did two plots right there, and as you can see, it kicks up into the right a little bit, but the growl is overall very, very accurate, and it's pretty easy to control. Now I'm going to do it with the optimal attachments that I use in the ground. 30 on plot. As you can tell, I do help out a lot with the couple attachments that I use for damage range on here, but I don't use too many because it's already very, very good. I do a second plot here just to show that it's, it's pretty darn accurate. And then right after doing the second plot, I do a controlled recoil to show how easy I can keep it in one spot. As you can tell, while I'm recoil controlling, this gun does not move at all, and it is super accurate. Now I'm just going to transition to the highlights of the growl. Thanks for watching.
getting into the optimal class setup that I run, I run the Monolithic Suppressor, 26.4 Archangel Barrel for that better iron sight, Tack Laser, 6 year on mags in the XRK Void 2 grip. I know that its ADS speed is not the greatest, but this thing's damage range, low recoil, high mag size, and good sprint to fire speed make up for it. Hope you have a nice day. See ya.